So this is one of the ante rooms we've done in the ICU in order to, um, the first step, isolate the room, and secondly, uh, eventually take it to a negative pressure state by installing a HEPA filter inside the room. So what we've done is we've added in all this, uh, this hoarding on the inside of the actual room um, to allow, which is taped and sealed, to create a sealed environment so that the, the nurses when entering the room can don and doff their PPE and uh, not expose the hallway and do it with inside the ante room. Um, we've added plexiglass in so we have line of sight to the monitor here. Uh, we've actually added a port as well, uh, which is Vel a Velcro port so that uh, we can run the tubing and wiring in for the the uh, patient as well and then we've added in a glass uh, not a glass it's actually a plastic window so that we can from the outside see the patient uh, through it at the same time once we have the HEPA filters installed we'll be at a point where this will be very very close to a negative pressure environment meaning that all of the air uh, flow will be into the room as opposed to out to the room inside the hallway while while COVID is, is very much droplet precaution, um, we want to ensure that we're protecting our staff, our visitors, our patients as much as possible, and therefore we want to put them into those type of negative environments. It also allows them, if they need to do an aspirating procedure within the room, it allows them the ability to do it here without moving the patient throughout the hallways. Um, a lot of changes, a lot of work. We've currently done at the elect campus we've currently done four rooms like this we're in the process of doing another eight at the uh, met campus we've done a very similar thing although we've created more of a tent environment because we didn't have rooms um, and we're in the process now of adding hepa filters into those rooms as well um, now we're in the emergency department um, these three rooms were created specifically for um, covid patients uh, coming in through emerge um, over the course of the last couple of days, we've added in negative pressure in these rooms. Um, we put this filter over here in place, uh, which is pulling air out of the room through the ductwork across the ceiling um, and filtering it out of the building. Um, each of these rooms is now under negative pressure. This area is positive to that, so all of the airflow is coming from the area we're standing in into uh, the room. Therefore, the nursing staff here is protected from what's going on in the room, um, and um, we're trying to keep them, again, as safe as possible.